Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new course on acoustic simulations with ComSol Multiphysics. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the introductory part of this particular series. In upcoming videos, we will be covering in-depth simulation strategy. Along with that, we will also cover the knowledge of theory because it is important to understand the background theory associated physics to do the simulation in a transparent and appropriate way. Before I start today's video, I would like to make an announcement that we have started a new service where we do a video call with you to support your ComSol simulation. If you want to take that particular service, you can write to me and request for a video call. If we understand that we can support you and then we actually fix further meetings and for that we may expect a small amount of contribution so that we can sustain our work. So let us start today's topic. So this particular simulation file is taken from the application library. You can have this file in the application library but the thing is you have to understand that what are the physics they have taken and what exactly it is solving and how exactly those how exactly those physics are coupled so in this is a simulation on piezo acoustic or piezo electric transducers now what is a piezo electric transducer in a layman language we have certain thing that is constantly vibrating and that vibration causes an acoustic wave and that acoustic wave actually travels through a particular medium and that is what your piezoelectric transducer is. Now how this actuation of the vibrating object occurs that occurs by the application of an external potential or electric field potential. So there are three steps. The first step is you are applying certain electric field or electric potential that electric potential is being imparted in a piezoelectric material and in the presence of the electric field that material vibrates at a, at a particular frequency and that vibration is nothing but the initiation of the sound wave and that sound wave actually travels through the medium which medium the medium which is nearby the acoustic transducer or the piezoelectric material. So here they have taken this kind of geometry where this bottom rectangle, small rectangle is nothing but the piezoelectric material and they will apply a certain electric field across this material. So this electric field will cause vibration and the sound wave will be propagating through this medium. So now what are the physics they have taken? They have taken pressure acoustics and if you see the equation it is solving for the pressure field and this is a kind of you can say a wave propagation equation or wave equation in a frequency domain. I will talk about it in more detail in the upcoming videos. So what are the boundary conditions or what are the conditions we have in this particular physics. So you can see we have pressure acoustics again in this particular zone because the sound wave will come will originate from here and it will travel through this medium. So the pressure acoustics is defined in this particular solution space. Then we have this axial symmetry is for the axisymmetric simulation. It is nothing to do with the pressure acoustics. It is it should be every time there if you are working with axisymmetric model. This is sound hard boundary and again what are those things signify we have to explore this physics so we'll be coming to all this physics in the upcoming videos but as of now just try to understand that this is a particular condition that we are imposing at this particular space or at the, along this line and this is the sound hard boundary condition. Now we have spherical wave radiation again a condition we'll explore it but before we go to that explanation in upcoming video let us try to understand that 
everything we take in ComSol, there should be certain equation associated with it. And you can see this is the equation which is following along this curved line which is called spherical wave radiation. So this is a kind of equation for a radiation. We'll talk more about it because you can see understanding about this typical equations are very necessary. Otherwise, this simulation will be a kind of black box and that is why again and again I am telling in pressure acoustics we have complicated equations involved and hence a detailed understanding is necessary. Now we go to exterior field calculation. So some mathematics is again going on here. We'll talk about it in, in the upcoming series. So just follow this particular series. It will be helpful if you are working with acoustics or you if you have planned to work with it. Then uh, the solid mechanics. We have talked many times about this solid mechanics. So this solid mechanics is here. So what is happening basically this is a piezoelectric material. So if you impose certain force then it will cause some movement and here the movement is coming or the, or the source of the force is coming from the electric field we will come to this. So one particular thing now we should remember and that is the solid mechanics is solving the vibration. Now the vibration is being caused or vibrate the cause of the vibration is the electric field. So there must be a coupling between this electrostatics and the solid mechanics. And if you see here in the multiphysics, you basically have a piezoelectric coupling option where you can see these two physics that is electrostatics and solid mechanics are coupled. Now you need to couple this acoustro-structure boundary. Why? Because whatever vibration is being caused here that will initiate the pressure wave and the pressure wave has to travel through this medium and that is why a coupling between these two is necessary but this is a qualitative statement as this is an introductory video we are only being confined with the qualitative statement but whenever I am telling there is a coupling there should be some mathematical correlation. So in our upcoming videos we will try to explore those things and it will be important for you. So now let us uh, go to the solid mechanics equation. You see this is a linear in a, here we don't have actually any linear elastic material. So you can see we have not chosen actually they have not chosen anything but they have chosen a piezoelectric material and they have selected this particular domain. So in piezoelectric we have many equations again those are these are the, these are the equations and we should we should know about these equations so we'll explore this in the upcoming videos. Uh, now initial values we have not chosen anything everything is zero here and you can see this is the free boundary uh, you know what is a free boundary uh, this is the roller this is required because this is vibrating this particular material and to support it I mean uh, there is a particular physics if you, see, if you see here and that particular physics is u dot n equal to zero and what does it physically signify we'll talk about it. Then yeah but uh, you see we have not in incorporated any force or anything like if you see if you right click on solid mechanics you see you have multiple options for volume forces for spring damper you have many other options you have load option of load boundary load fixed constraint you have many options but we have not chosen anything but still this particular object will vibrate and that is coming from the electric field as I have already mentioned these two physics are coupled. Now see what we are solving in the electric field. So this equation is known. We have already explained about this equation in our two phase flow modeling. If you have not watched it kindly watch that particular video. I will put this video in the description box so that you can have a reference look. So we have the charge conservation. You see zero charge at the right side. 
you see initial value that is the voltage is zero throughout at initial condition this is the ground and at the top it will be the applied potential so because actually there should be a potential across it and this potential will do what it will initiate the vibration and that vibration will be solved by the solid mechanics and due to the vibration pressure wave will originate and that will be taken care of by this pressure acoustics equation so qualitatively we have finished this particular discussion and we can understand how exactly things are related but this is again i'm telling this is a qualitative knowledge so in the upcoming video we'll try to explore all the equations but before we uh, end the video let us see how the profile looks like so this is the pressure wave you can see it uh, due to the perturbation you have a pressure wave that is moving through the medium will so will show the equation of the stress you can see it will be stressed because a certain potential is applied so material will be in stressed condition would they have actually solved it and this is the electric field potential this is very much intuitive because the top was at a higher potential and the bottom was at zero so we have a gradient of potential from top to the bottom displacement this is the displacement you see the this is a piezoelectric material once we put voltage on it it will be displaced and this displacement will be continuing for different time steps but here we have actually solved for the frequency domain so we have to convert it to, into the time domain for understanding or the transient phenomenon so that uh, will be coming in the upcoming video so there are many things which are not being explored by this qualitative knowledge like how exactly the piezo is vibrating what how exactly this vibration is being translated through the pressure acoustic wave but this i mean there are multiple equations maybe some sometimes you will not understand all the equations so you should focus on main equations which are there like in this particular case the main equation is pressure acoustics because we are solving for the acoustics we are solving for the sound wave so if we take this particular thing that means solid mechanics and the electric field from a standard library file then it is then we can claim that it is solving appropriately and then you can change your geometry where actually this particular section where the sound is being propagated and you can play around it so today i stop here because most of the fundamental things are already covered in this video so from the upcoming video we'll talk about theory a bit maybe one or two lectures will be on theory and then we'll again come to this particular simulation we'll demonstrate it today i have just taken it from the application library and i have actually shown the shown you the things but once you understand the theory then we'll try to develop it step by step so that you understand it in a better way before i stop this video i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel if you subscribe to our channel we will get more motivation to upload videos thank you